All right, so it's a four-part present, James. I need to know which side is the front first. <laughs> which is the front? No, just unwrap it first. Just unwrap it. Rip it open. I need... Okay. So... Hold on. Let's take the top off. Okay, so you have one present to unwrap first. And add anyone who might have guesses, don't say anything until the end. Okay, okay go. Okay. One, do the one top one first. Layered. Wait, is it wrapped? Take, do that one first. Do that one first. Yes. Do that one first. Yep. What is that? Uh, $25 Disney gift card. Okay, so do, do the next nice. one. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Hey, shh. Yes, yep. throw it yeah. to the side. You want this one? No. Next one, no, we're good. That one's just that. Put those on. Oh, cute. Wait, I have to put them on. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I love it. You look so cute. Now the next one. Hold on, let's turn them. Let's turn them around. You said there's a four part. Yeah, you'll know. You'll know, James. I need, I need you to open this. And then when you open that, read it out loud to everybody. And make sure you're loud. Yep. Open it and read it out loud to everybody. Read it out loud. Okay. Be loud. 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 Come on. Come on. Loud. You can. Come on. Nobody oh. can see you. So I can't keep calm. I'm going to Disney. Where are you going, Jake? Yay! Jake, where are you going? Where are you going? Really? Yeah. Oh. February 2020. Huh? February 2020. Oh, wow. Wow. Are you excited, buddy? Yeah. Let me see, James. <laughs> All right, so we're starting our trip to Disney World. We're leaving right now. James, how are you feeling? He's not feeling too well, but hopefully he gets better for the trip. All right, uh, we're on our way, and here we go. All right, so after about four hours or so of driving, uh, we've made it from Old Town all the way to Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, we stopped at in Augusta uh, so we could get some food and so I could get a haircut. Um... And yeah, so we're finally at the hotel. It's about 8 o'clock. And now we're going to go in, get some sleep, and uh, wake up at 4.30 in the morning for our flight tomorrow. Anything you want to say, James? No. It's just, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, too. All right. Have a good night. See you in the morning. All right, so uh, we've made it to the airport and we had to open our bags and take out all of our stuff to go through the metal detectors and x-ray machines, all the snaps, all the electronics. We were there for a long time holding up the line. Uh, how are you doing, James? So-so? Yeah. Still not feeling well. All right, so uh, it's about 6.20 now. Uh, we're going to start boarding at 6.30, and then we'll be on the plane and heading to Disney World. <laughs> All right, see you in Disney World. Bye. Going to say bye? All right, we're finally at Disney. Uh, it's been a few hours after the long plane ride and uh, the long bus ride and waiting in lines and stuff. So 
Finally, we're here. We're at Pop Century. Say hi, James. Are you excited? What are we gonna do first? Go swimming. So here we are at Pop Century Resort. This is where we're staying. And now we're gonna go find a pool and go swimming. See you guys later. All right, so uh, we're in our room, and uh, I wanted to show it to you guys. So here is our room. So it's an 80s style room. So uh, our whole building is based on the 80s. So this is everything. Uh, definitely didn't have that TV in the 80s. But it's stylized like the 80s. That mug right there is a refillable mug that uh, we get for having the Disney dining plan. So we get to refill it anywhere we go. Only one bed. Only one bed. Which is sad for me because he snores a lot. <laughs> Uh, we got a phone there. We got Mickey's. I just hit my knee. We got the bathroom. We haven't walked into this bathroom yet. Uh, let me turn on a light. What is? What? Wait. So we got our bathtub. James is mesmerized by it. I don't know. I was born in 87, so I don't have much memory of the 80s. Hmm. That's curious. Alright, and I am going to give you a quick view of what the outside looks like. James, are you coming? So, right outside, uh, we have a parking lot. I requested uh, in the 60s building uh, looking over uh, the river. Instead, I got the 80s building looking over a parking lot. Um, but there is a cool view over here that I want to show you. Not, not the janitorial thing. pretty nice view. Got a whole bunch of different buildings. This is known as the computer pool. Uh, got a big keyboard here. Right there. Right there. All right, well, we're signing off for now. We'll see you guys in a bit. We'll probably go swimming in a little bit. Bye. All right, we have had a very long day. Uh, so we went to Chef Mickey's. That took so much extra time for travel. 
uh, and made a bunch of wrong turns and ended up getting there late and then had to call a lift back. Uh, but we're back and we're going to sleep and we're going to Animal Kingdom in the morning. Um, but here are a bunch of pictures of how Chef Mickey's went. Have a good night. All right, so we've been at Animal Kingdom all day. Uh, we went on a few rides. We went on uh, <clears throat> Navi River Journey. That was one of our fast passes, but we got on that uh, right as we walked in. So instead, we got a fast pass for It's Tough to Be Above. And then we went on uh, Kilimanjaro Safari. And then we went on Dinosaur which James says he's never gonna do it yet. Is that right? Yeah. So now we're at Kidani Village, uh, where we're gonna have lunch at Sanaa. And there are some animals outside here, which is really cool. And I've been told that you can uh, look at the animals while eating lunch. So that's what we're gonna check out. James is still not feeling great. I'm not either, but we're pushing through. We're still having fun. All right, see you soon.
your weapon like a Jedi. That's your first mistake. That's a choice. <laughs> That's not <laughs> That's a folly. Well done. Deactivate Saber Death. Stand right here. The Force is strong with you, but you are not a Jedi.
All right. So, uh, we're feeling a little better today. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, it was cold in Magic Kingdom today. Uh, we ended up leaving a little bit early because it was so cold. Yeah. Head tired. Um, but we went to a bunch of places. Uh, we started off, we had extra magic hours, which means everyone in the resorts gets to go an hour early, and they even opened up that about ten minutes early. Um, so we went to Seven Dwarves Mine Train, which is usually like a two or three hour wait, and we got in like twenty minutes. Um, then we used a couple of our fast passes, and then one of them, which was, uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad got canceled, or like it wasn't working, so they gave us a special pass that we could use on almost any event at any time during the day. Um, we ended up not using it because we left early because it was cold. Um, but we also went to Disney's Fill Our Magic. Uh, it's a small world. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, the magic, uh, the Mickey's. Mickey's Philhar Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, oh, the Monsters, Inc. Uh, laugh Floor. Uh, that was actually really awesome. That was probably my favorite, like, sit-down event. Because it was very interactive with the audience, and it was awesome. People, the people... The people? The people thing. The well, people. Oh, the people mover. Yeah. Uh, the people mover was cool. Just showing us around Tomorrowland. And, um... Oh, we went on Tom Sawyer Island. That was pretty cool. There was this cool mine. Uh, it was also heated, which was nice. Because, again, it was cold. And... Uh, there are some other things that I'll probably show up on the screen that we forgot about. Uh, oh, Haunted Mansion. There's also that. Um, but uh, I don't know what he just mouthed to you. I'll see it later in editing. Uh, but all right. Uh, we're going to get some rest. And uh, we're heading out on the flight in the morning. So have a good night. Hey everyone, uh, we just got off our flight. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire, waiting for our shovel. Shovel? Waiting for our shuttle. Hey everyone, uh, we just got off our flight. We're now in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, we're waiting for our shuttle. Uh, on the flight, this happened. Um, Mr. Gower, for those of you that don't know, is a history teacher at Miranda Cook Community High School where I am a teacher. Uh, and James, how was the flight? Camera. Awesome. Camera. Stop. Stop. That uh, little kid needs to stop, I guess. All right, uh, we'll see you uh, in a bit. Uh, we're gonna take our shuttle back and uh, head Head uh, home. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. All right. So it's been a few months. Yeah. Uh, coronavirus is uh, happening. Um, I'm happy we got into Disney World before that happened. Um, so now to finish this vlog, uh, we just want to go over some tips on a good Disney World trip. Assuming Disney World is the same now with coronavirus. Um, but once they open back up, uh, a lot of these tips should still be good. All right, uh, so when you're starting out with a trip for packing, uh, I suggest that you pack clothes for both warm and cold weather. On our last day uh, in Magic Kingdom, uh, we wore shorts and t-shirts and were pretty cold the whole day, even though every day before that was really warm. So pack for warm and cold, cold weather. Yeah. Um, it's something that carries water bottles well. I had a backpack that the water bottles kept falling out a lot, and uh, a couple times uh, when they fell, it came open and water went everywhere. So you want to make sure uh, that whatever you have carries water bottles well. <clears throat> um, on the travel down, uh, get a hotel where you can park, park and shuttle. 
that was really helpful for us. We stayed at the hotel. We left the car there the whole time, and then we took a shuttle over. It was really easy getting to the airport. Um, saved a lot of hassle. Um, the New Hampshire airport uh, makes you take out, out all of your food. The Orlando airport didn't do this, but the the New Hampshire airport made us take out every single piece of food we had, and we brought a lot of food, and so that was very annoying and took a lot of time. Uh, and we had our own bags all like packed sp specifically well, and then had to quickly take everything out and throw everything back in really quickly. So just keep a note of that. <clears throat> um, Disney's Magical Express uh, gets you to the resort quickly, so once you get to the Orlando airport, um, you just uh, to go to the Disney Magical Express, it's right in the airport, and they take you on a bus right to wherever your resort is. Um, and they have a different bus for different resorts. Uh, it took us a little while in the airport, because the airport's pretty big, to get to the um, Disney Magical Express. Um, but once you get there, it's an easy trip, so you don't have to call a, ta uh, a taxi cab or an Uber or a Lyft or anything. All right, when you're doing food, um, make sure not to travel anywhere. Um, you can travel, but... So, for example, we went to a couple places where we had to travel far for the food. And, like, if you're in a park and you have to travel out of the park uh, and then back in, it takes a lot of time to do that um, and can take away from the trip. So I suggest trying to get um, food uh, that's nearby that you can just walk to easily. So food that's in your resort, uh, if it's your resort day or if you're in the park, uh, do one of the in-park restaurants. Uh, I find it much easier that way. However, the two places we did travel to, um, Sanaa and Chef Mickey's are also kind of probably worth it. Chef Mickey's is a buffet that uh, all the Disney characters, uh, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, um, all come around uh, and say mm -hmm. hi. Oh, and Pluto too, yep. Um, and they all come say hi. So yeah. if, you've got, if you've got kids, uh, they really like it, um, and it's definitely worth, worth it. Though it was pretty far from our resort, and we ended up being late. Um, but they did let us in, which is very nice. I've heard they don't always let you in. But they uh, were nice and let us in, even though we were pretty late. Um, and Sanaa is also kind of worth it because while you're eating, you get to just watch animals swim around, which is really nice. Um, yeah, you like that? Um, <clears throat> once you get to your resort, if your room is not ready, you can drop off your baggage and they will bring it to your room when it's ready. Um, so there's a nice baggage drop off. Um, so once you get to the resort, um, you might be there much earlier before your room's ready. I think our room uh, wasn't ready till like 3 p.m. and we got there at like 11. So all you have to do is just go up to the baggage area um, there might be a bit of a line, but uh, once you wait through the line, uh, give them your bags, and then they'll they'll drop off your baggage. Uh, it takes a little bit of time between your room being ready and them dropping off your baggage. Um, so our room was ready, and then we went to our room, and the bags weren't there yet. And we called and said that they said they were on their way, but they they don't send them until the room is ready, and then it takes a while to get them sent. Um, so, but that's something that you can do. Um, for travel, there's a bunch of different ways you can travel um, within the parks. Buses are the only way to get from anywhere to anywhere, but sometimes you have to wait. So buses can get from anywhere in Disney World to anywhere else in Disney World, whether you're in a resort or you're in a park. You can get from any resort to any resort, any resort to park, any park to park. Um, you can get pretty much anywhere. Um, however, sometimes you have to wait for them. They're not always uh, right there. Sometimes you have to wait, and you don't necessarily know when they're going to be there. Um, the monorails could be annoying and confusing. Uh, this is how we relate to Chef Mickey's. Um, I thought it would be pretty quick, just, uh, we took a bus to Epcot, and then, uh, we thought we were going to take a monorail straight to, uh, Chef Mickey's, but we had to take a monorail to another place, and then that monorail had to go all the way around, and Chef Mickey's was actually the last stop, and so, um, the map wasn't helpful to say which way the monorail goes, and it only goes one way, so that, uh, made us pretty late, because I thought it was going to be much quicker, and, uh, it was confusing as to which one we were supposed to get onto, and it was very confusing. The Skyliner is pretty cool and quick, but it's only connected to a few places. Um, so we used it to get to Hollywood Studios, and I think it also goes to Epcot. Um, and it's connected to the resort we were staying at, uh, which is Pop Century. Um, and it's connected to a couple other resorts as well. So it was very nice when we were going to Hollywood Studios to get on that. Did you like the Skyliner? Yeah. You thought you were going to be scared of it though, right? Yeah. But it was pretty cool. Because we're inside the whole time, there's no outside portion. I think that's what you were scared of, um, if there's outside and like you feel like you could fall over, but it's completely enclosed and nice. Um, for the most consistent way to get anywhere, uh, the easiest is probably Lyft or Uber, though you have to pay for those. Everything else that I've mentioned is free. Um, so uh, there was one time where we went to Chef Mickey's, and by the time we got out, all the other transportation was down, and uh, there was no way to get back to a resort except 
um, drop a lift. Um, and that got us right where we wanted to. And that was quick and easy. So we had to pay a little money for that. But um, so if you ever have no other way to get anywhere, just call a lifter and you'll get there. Um, so now the parks. Our first day we went to Animal Kingdom. Um, and just one main thing about Animal Kingdom is that some of the animal things close early, such as Rafiki's Planet Watch and Gorilla Falls. Um, we wanted to go to those and thought we would, could get to them later, um, but we weren't able to. Anything you want to say about Animal Kingdom? It was fun. Uh, the, a bug's life was kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird? Did you like it? It felt weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that had a cool thing. And the dino park. Yeah, you like the dino park? Mm -hmm. That's probably your favorite part of and Animal then, Kingdom, right? Yeah, and then came to Pacific and then... Yeah, there was a place where you could uh, play a bunch of dino activities, mm -hmm. and you got tickets. It cost a bunch of money, but it was fun. Yeah, and then there was like this little playground area, mm -hmm. and I walked around and played dinosaurs. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, next. What about dino? Uh, what was it? Uh, dinosaur. The black dinosaur. Did you like that? No, because <laughs> I hold, I held on like so much, and then it like shook, and I thought it was gonna fall off. <laughs> yeah. It, it was fun though. That was probably my favorite ride in Animal Kingdom. Although, actually, my favorite ride would probably be the safari. I really like the safari. Yeah, it was nice. When we saw the animals? Yeah. I also like the Avatar ride too. Yeah. Uh, we The uh, Navi River Journey. We didn't get to the other one uh, because yeah. it was a really long ride. What other one? There's another Avatar ride. It's really, But it was a really long wait, so we just didn't get to the other one. Oh, okay. What's next? All right. <clears throat> Hollywood Studios. My favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah. Um, so. Uh, one thing was, uh, his favorite thing was probably Jedi training. Yeah, I got to do Jedi training. Um, but when we went up to where Jedi training was, there was a sign that said that it was it was full for the day, so we weren't going to go, but he convinced me to check it out. And we went, and they said, you can sign up for a wait list, and uh, if, they, if anyone is a no-show, they'll call the names on the wait list. So we put our name on the wait list and went to the very last showing, and they called his name, and he got in. On the very last show. And I also got to play as uh, Kylo Ren. Yeah, that was fun. And so, uh, probably go about 30 minutes before the last show um, and and just sign up for a wait list and you should be able to get on. Uh, anything else you want to say about Hollywood Studios? No. Toy Story Land. Toy Story Land? Toy Story Land is probably the, the most filled place, and so there was a lot of people there and a lot of lines. Yeah. Probably don't go there first if you can help it, because that's where people first go to. Yeah. Uh, maybe go to a, a different place where there's less people. Toy Story Mania was fun. It's like where you uh, shoot targets and all that. Yeah. And you play Slay the Human Wonder Wheel. Yeah, that was fun. Yep. And there's something called the Slinky Dog thing. Slinky Dog Dash. Yeah, but we didn't get that one. That was just fun. The Alien Ride. Mm -hmm. Anything the else? Star Wars thing was cool. Most of Hollywood Studios was very Star Wars heavy, and there's a bunch of Star Wars stuff we didn't get to go on. Like what? Uh, Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run. We didn't get to go on either of those. Wait, don't forget about the Indiana Jones thing. The Indiana Jones show was pretty cool. They did a lot of stunts. Um, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Was it the real Indiana Jones? <laughs> no, the real Indiana Jones is Harrison Ford. That's the guy who plays Han Solo. Oh. Okay, what else rides were we able to do? Was that all the rides you put on our list today? On um, the Fast Pass? Yeah. I think that was most of it. Now I think we need to talk about... Magic Kingdom? Yeah. Magic Kingdom was probably my favorite, just because it has the most rides. But it was also cold. It was a cold day for us, um, so we kept trying to get inside whenever we could. Um, so I'd love to go there again when it's a bit warmer or we're more prepared for it. Um, but they have a lot of rides, so the thing about Fast Passes is that um, you sign up for three before going into the park, but then once you use them all, you can sign up for another Fast Pass, and once you use that one, you can sign up for another one, and so on. And so that wasn't super helpful in Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios because they don't have a lot of rides. Um, or not all the rides are fast passes either. Um, however, Magic Kingdom, they have tons of rides, and that was so much easier. Don't forget about the Magic Hour thing. Um, and we, we had, uh, you can get early Magic Hours, or, uh, or it's called Extra Magic Hours, where uh, they might let you in an hour early or an hour late. If you live in a resort here in Orlando. Yep, if you're staying at a resort, uh, anyone staying at a resort gets extra magic hours for whenever they have them scheduled, and they had them scheduled for Magic Kingdom that day, so we got to go in an hour early, which was nice. And there was more rides. There was, the first one we went on, because it, it would have a long line, was the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we went on, what else did we go on? We went on, we were going to go on wait, what, Thunder, what's Thunder Mountain? Oh yeah, Thunder Mountain Railroad, but that was closed when we got to it. Isn't that the water one? Nope, uh, Splash Mountain was also closed. Okay. We knew about that going in. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad was just suddenly closed. What was that? 
it, it, uh, it's kind of like kind of like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, but kind of like a roller coaster type. Okay, and then what else would we go on for rides? We went on a bunch of stuff. I don't know if we're going to go on. No, no, we didn't go on Mr. Pickle. Nope, I did not go on Mr. Pickle. Uh, we went on Haunted Mansion. Uh, that, we went that to, was in, I thought Haunted Mansion was in Nope, two. nope that was Mansion Pickle. Oh. Uh, we went on It's a Small World. Um, we went uh, we went to Tom Sawyer Island, which was nice. You take a boat to an island and you get to walk around on the island. It was cold though, so that was nice fun. It was outside, but it was fun. Inside the cave was fun. What cave? Remember the cave on Tom Sawyer Island when there was like this gold that was really glowing? That cave thing had to make me scared. Because <laughs> the first time I went in it, I didn't know what was in it. Yeah. But as soon as I went in it, and then the light kind of scared me. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I don't remember what other activities we went on. We went on a whole bunch though. I'm trying to remember them all right now. Are you sure the Haunted Mansion was in on a roller coaster? It was in Magic Kingdom, so. Okay. Alright, you want to say bye to everyone? Yeah. Alright. Bye! Bye! Hi-ho! <laughs>